ambassador. Yay! A salute of defiance after being locked out of his own embassy. <laughs> Myanmar's man in London facing the consequences of defying the military regime at home. Sky News, what's your message to the UK now this has happened? Uh, you know that, you know, this kind of coup is happening uh, in the middle of UK, in the uh, middle of uh, London, so uh, it shouldn't be uh, happening. No? What would you like them to so do? What do you want the UK to do? Move on. He's referring to embassy officials who've taken charge of the mission. Kyozwa Min, forced to spend Wednesday night in his car before seeking help from the Foreign Office in an extraordinary standoff. Will you return home if they don't support you? Do you want me to see get killing? Do you think you'll be killed if you go home? Who knows? Who knows? Why, have you been threatened with that kind of retaliation? Uh, OK, next, next one, next what one. He's every reason to be scared. Hundreds of people, including children, have been killed by government forces in Myanmar during weeks of protests after the military seized control. The UK has condemned the coup. But this mini-regime change at the Myanmar embassy poses a diplomatic dilemma. The British government has to deal with governments, and so they have to have ambassadors in London representing their governments. If this poor gentleman is no longer representing the Myanmar government, then effectively he becomes a dissident and he might have to apply for asylum if he wants to stay in this country. The ambassador's supporters want the UK to back their man and help oust the military junta. Tributes to those who've died, a reminder of what's at stake. Deborah Haynes, Sky News.